Hi guys, Zach here from Raise Em Up Homestead. So I wanted to take you with us while we continue this journey with quail. Today is the day where we butcher our first set of hatchlings. So we just had a new set hatch, which would be our third set. So we have a, a hatchling group that we just moved up to the aviary. We've got the original first group that has reached full size and then we have a group that is brand new born yesterday and that every three weeks approximately those groups will get rotated through so potentially if they keep laying eggs we should have quail meat every three weeks so today this video I'm gonna walk you through the process of how we butcher them and prep them and get them into the fridge. So if you don't want to see killing, this is not the video for you, or you can skip ahead. I will put in uh, the video here where you can skip ahead too and see how we clean up the birds and prep them, and you can skip the killing portion. All right guys, so I'm gonna walk you through this first step, which is how to dispatch them or kill them. Um, all you need with quail is a really good pair of shears. These are poultry shears. Um, you want really sharp, high strength shears. You also want to be able to take them apart because you're going to get blood all over these. So you need to be able to take them apart to clean them. But these were only, I think we paid $8 for these on Amazon. So I do things a little bit different, I think, than some because I want the birds as calm and relaxed as possible when I kill them. I don't want them all stressed out. So I kill them out here at their coop rather than put them in a box and take them somewhere more convenient for me. So what we do, They're wily. So with quail, you flip them on their backs, they tend to calm down. Okay, bud, daddy's gonna kill the quail. Do you wanna watch, or do you wanna go? Yeah. You wanna okay. watch? Yeah. Quail will never get truly calm. Then you just So what I do here, this is a bucket of food for our pig. I let the blood drain into the food so that bacon can eat the blood so that as little as possible is wasted. You can see the, the twitching on the bird and the feathers are stood up as the nerve endings quit their final movements. And you just hold them here until they, they're still. Doesn't take very long. So you can see now I'm not holding the bird anymore. So it is pretty much all done with the twitching. For now, that is all I do. Because I do the rest of it where it's a lot easier for me. So we move to the next bird. And then you can. What do you. We'll show one more and then we can stop filming. You want to show how you, um... Yeah, then we'll move we'll down there. Okay, guys, come on. Back up. Some of them are feistier than others. But we let her calm down. So, I don't know if you guys could tell on the feathers on the other one, there's a lot of spots on the chest. So the other one was a girl, whereas this one is a boy. I want that boy. And then you just hold him upside down while let as much blood come out as possible. Makes the meat taste better. Okay. 
Okay guys, so now that we've dispatched the birds, now we need to clean them up so that we can eat them. So the first thing you want to do is these wings have zero meat on them. So you want to go up right next to the body and with those same shears, clip the wings off. Come over to this side. And then same thing with the legs, right above that joint, just clip them off. Then, their skin is so thin, it literally just pulls apart and pulls off the quail. So you start at the, the neck. The only spots I find that get kind of difficult are right around the wings and legs. This one is proving to be the most difficult I've ever done. <laughs> and of course it is. I'm doing it on camera. Now you have most of the feathers off, the rest will rinse off. But I remove the backbone and that way I can get access to all of the organs. And you just take those shears and run right down the sides of the backbone. Pull the backbone out, exposes all the organs, and they just pull right out. The only ones that tend to really want to stay are the lungs because they're kind of attached to the body. And then we just need to rinse it off, give it a, a cleaning just because the feathers are stuck to it. And that is a dressed quail. And I'll show you the final results once they're all cleaned up too. So now we got the quail all cleaned up. The next step is we're gonna put them in an ice bath and let them sit for two days in the refrigerator. This way they're able to go through, rigor mortis can release, and the meat will be a whole lot more tender than it would be if we didn't do this step. Um, you can see here, they're nice and clean. We're gonna go ahead and add a saltwater brine, uh, which also will make the meat juicier. Uh, if you ever see, if you buy meat from the store, it'll say, water added this is what they're doing they're doing a salt water brine which adds water into the meat and makes the meat juicier so i'm going to put about half a cup of salt 
into a cup of warm water. The actual amount is not as important um, as it just being there. You want salt water, you want it salty. The exact amount of salt is not that important. And I'm just mixing it up with my finger. Okay, we're gonna pour this salt water over the quail. You can also add seasonings at this point. If you're not gonna put them in the freezer and you want to add a marinade to this brine, do it. I did it last time and it worked fantastic. So I'm gonna put ice in. And I want just enough ice to cover the quail and get the water nice and cold. It's gonna be in the refrigerator, so it's not gonna stay frozen forever, but this helps get a little bit colder than it would in the fridge, but not as cold as a freezer. And then we're just gonna take this and top off until the quail are completely covered. And that that's all there is to it. Thanks guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. You can see it only took me maybe 15, 20 minutes to go through this whole process and I do not have a good setup here. I should be doing this in a kitchen with a sink instead of a hose out in the yard. Um, but as many of you know, I don't have a kitchen yet. So right now I'm doing make do with what I've got and I will get faster as I do it more. This is the only the second time I've processed quail. Um, it'll get faster and easier as I do it, but as far as dispatching and butchering, this is by far the easiest animal I've ever done, and they are delicious. So stay tuned. Next time we cook them up, we'll do a uh, we'll do a video showing you what we make. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see when all of our new videos come out. See you guys later.